Hey, what's up guys? It's Bjorn from Triassic Park Triops and today I got a new video for you guys about hatching triops eggs. Um, hatching triops eggs is probably one of the most important things we have to do in our hobby because basically if we can't hatch our eggs we can't have a colony. So um, yeah, I'm gonna tell you guys how I actually hatch my triops and uh, for that we are going to move to the right tank right now. Um, as you can see I have two hatching containers set up at the surface of my aquarium. Um, these two containers are floating containers, they are completely closed, there are no holes inside it because the type of water inside these hatcheries is different than the type of water that's inside your aquarium. In the aquarium I use like tap water with a conditioner, it's fine, but for hatching we need something that's similar to rainwater. Because triops in nature only hatch in normal natural rainwater. That's how they live. So we need to actually try to get a water quality that's really similar to rainwater. What I'm using is mainly um, boiled rainwater that I collected inside a bucket. And I always add a tiny bit of uh, low mineral spring water. Um, on the left we have a already established um, container. There are four triops, cancriformis, albino inside it. Here you can see one of the little guys, it's an albino. And on the right, I'm actually setting up another hatchery, of a, another hatching container with uh, Australiensis arum eggs. So I have a bunch of Australiensis arum eggs inside the ring right here, right over here, I'm sorry. And um, there are some oak leaves. Um, I will explain uh, what everything is in just several seconds and um, yeah. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take a 0.5 liter microwave container. We're going to fill it up with like, like half of the container should be filled up with uh, boiled rainwater, low uh, mineral spring water or distilled water. Everything is fine, but if you're going to use distilled water, make sure you will add some minerals to the water later. Because triops really can't live inside water that has uh, no minerals at all in it. It's fine for hatching, but it's not um, good to have them like survive for a longer time. So um, that's why I use a mix of uh, rainwater, boiled rainwater and some low mineral spring water because there will be just a tiny little bit of minerals in it just to make sure they don't die out because there are no minerals in it. So um, if everything is filled up we want to add some leaves. These leaves are infused uh, with old aquarium water so uh, some micro life has actually attached to the leaves and if you dry them they will just stick to it and they will actually come to life just like the triops eggs when you will uh, drop them inside the water again. So uh, it's basically just necessary that this uh, that these leaves will be uh, sinking very soon, and they basically they are just uh, releasing all kinds of bacteria and algae cysts into the water right now that will actually be uh, a good food source for our triops later, for the nopoli. Um Back to the eggs, um, I have a tiny little um, soda bottle ring over here and it's just to make sure that the eggs um, are not going to stick to the sides of your container. Um, basically this will happen. This is another hatchery that didn't have the ring. Let me zoom in if my device will actually work for one time. <laughs> yeah, no. Ain't gonna work today. I'm sorry guys. Um, well, there are some eggs over here that are like stuck to the side of the hatching container. So that's basically why I'm using these rings just to make sure that the eggs don't escape the ring and get stuck onto the sides, get above the water line and actually don't hatch. So just a safety thing and um, well, this should actually be a pretty good setup for your traps. What we're gonna need next is heat. Actually, um, some people use like a desk uh, lamp like this one to heat up their triops eggs. I'm not a fan of this because people you will usually want to turn off the light during the night. So I'm going to turn it off right now. And back to the to my method, I'm using a aquarium heater inside the aquarium. The aquarium water will get heated, and basically the heat of the water will heat up the water inside your hatching container. 
So everything gets heated uh, by the aquarium and it's just probably one of the easiest ways to heat up your uh, hatching containers. Um, the aquarium has some light so everything is actually there. We have the, yeah, let's say special water in Fisoria, which is a conditioner for your water. We have the eggs, some light and we're set up. Basically what I will do now is leave the light on for 24 seven for about like nine to 10 days until they have become like almost adult, I guess. And um, yeah, they will actually be able to um, endure the light change because if you are gonna uh, switch from 24 seven to a light scheme after like three days, they will probably all die. That's because they're gonna get like shocked because the rhythm is off and um, yeah, just don't do it. Just try to uh, change the light settings like after nine or 14 days probably. They're adult and they will probably endure the change a little bit better. So just save them. And uh, yeah, basically that's how I set up my hatching containers. And uh, right now I will just wait for about like 24 hours or like two or three days maybe possibly to actually have the eggs hatching inside the water. And um, some tiny little orange dots will show up and they were like just beeping around, just beeping around. They really can't swim in like straight lines like the adult uh, triops. So basically their movements just consist of like spasming around like little tiny dots like doing this. Not too much. So um, after several days, like two or three days, uh, they have become a little bit bigger, like the ones that are inside this container. And um, the first several days they are filter feeding because their jaws haven't developed yet. So uh, what we're gonna need is like the bacteria to grow from the leaves, but I will also uh, add some spirulina algae powder to it just to feed them a little bit. I never feed them on the first day because if you feed triops on the first day, they can actually overeat themselves to death. Don't overfeed them on the first day. Just wait 24 hours after hatching, then you can first feed them the first time uh, with some spirulina algae powder. I usually just use the tip of a toothpick um, to give them just a tiny little bit of spirulina algae powder. They really don't need too much because they are really tiny, just maybe twice the size of their actual egg, eggs. So um, yeah, they are not too big. So they are, don't eat a lot yet, yet. <laughs> and uh, well, basically I guess that's it. If I missed something out, I'll probably just add it in the comments. Um, I hope you guys like the video. If, it's, if something isn't clear, just ask. I'll try to explain it another, another time for you guys. And um, well, I hope you enjoyed the video and hope to see you next time. Good luck with setting up your hatchery and have some fun.